Okay, so a new snapshot was released today, uh, 12W32A. Um, this is the first snapshot for the 1.4 update that has got no release date or anything yet, but um, they've only just started working on it. They're also working on a 1.3.2 patch as well, but this snapshot is just for 1.4. So to quickly go through the change log that's on their website, um, villagers will now react positively on new trades and negatively if you hurt them. Villagers will not remove trades, but trading something else may be required to renew the old ones. Zombies and skeletons have a chance of spawning with equipment, depending on difficulty. There's a new zombie type um, added the command block intended for adventure maps. It's not craftable and not in the menu, but it has an ID which is 137. And there's also a surprise block, but it's in a work in progress, and uh, we'll get a crafting recipe later. So there's not much in this update, but it's uh, pretty good for the first snapshot of 1.4. So let's go and quickly take a look at these things. So firstly is obviously the trading improvements. Um, whoops, oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of apples. Um, I'm not sure how it really works yet. As you can see, they've got like a new thing. I think that green thing means that they've like they like you more. Um, and if you hit them, they seem to. Um, oh, what's that? Okay, so I can't get that at the moment, um, but I can get arrows. And then maybe that will activate again and see if they like me more now. Yep. And then there's obviously that purple thing that means I've got a new trade. Oh, and then that old Apple one comes back. Um, and then if you hit them, that happens. And then I'm presuming that they don't like you anymore. It doesn't seem like anything happens in the trading menu, though. Stop ring away. No, it doesn't seem like anything happens in the trading menu. Um, for this dude, at least. There he is. Maybe in the future, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Um, it seems like emeralds are used a lot more now. I don't know if emeralds are the the main trading thing now. It does seem like it. Or it seems like there's a lot more emeralds. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of villages in here as well. It is a pretty big village. Um, so yeah, that's some of the new improvements on trading and you know the whole if they like you or not thing. So I'm interested to see where that goes. Alright, so next. Um, zombies and skeletons have a chance of spawning with... No, it's unpeaceful. Um, they have a chance of spawning with items. Um, such as swords or armour. Don't know about skeletons. I have seen a skeleton in gold armour. But it does look like it's kind of very rare. So I'm not too sure. Well, I'm not too sure how rare it is, but... Doesn't seem like I can see any any dudes anywhere spawning with some items or anything, but we'll keep keep trying getting some uh, getting some random ones. I think if you turn it to hard, it might be more likely. Oh, there's a new villager there. This is the new type of villager. It's, in, it's an infected testing figure, <laughs> and he looks hilarious. You can actually have baby versions of them as well. Um, the baby ones they don't burn in the sun. Um, which is kind of crazy, and they're, they're a little bit faster, I think it's like 10% faster than normal zombie, and they also have a, um, they don't grow up, so they'll always stay a baby zombie, um, so yeah, zombie test certificates, there's a normal zombie there, they look crazy, let's see if we can get a, oh there you go, he's got a, a shovel for some strange reason, another shovel there, I want to get one with some armour, there you go, he's got some armour, and I've just spawned a certificate, Dude, there. Oh, a test difficult zombie with a shovel. That's a crazy combination. Oh, he's got an enchanted. Oh, he's got enchanted uh, boots on there. It's kind of cool. Let's kill him. See what enchantment they are. If you can get them back, that is no. Okay, so you can't get the items off them. It seems, unless it's a rare drop. Um, now I believe that zombies will infect the villagers now, and that's how you get the um, zombie villagers, so let's see if it actually works. Now don't chase him, chase this dude here. 
Uh, villagers are more self-aware now, so they're not as stupid as they used to be. Can you please stop running away? Oops. Oh, um, in normal it's only 50% chance that they'll turn into a zombie, but in hard mode it's 100% that they'll turn into a zombie. There you go, he just turned into a zombie. Let's see if this one does as well. No, don't try again. There you go, he turned into a zombie as well. So yeah, um, in hard mode it's a 100% chance that they'll turn into a zombie. And in, in um, normal, mode, normal mode it's 50% that they'll turn into a zombie. And they turn into a testificate zombie. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's uh, like a full-on zombie apocalypse now. See how many, <laughs> see how many uh, testicular zombies are walking around. That's awesome. So that's uh, the mob item and the new zombie type. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so there's two more things on the change log. Firstly, is the new surprise item, um, which is just called work in progress, and it's got no real texture. Um, I kind of think it's like some sort of enchantment thing or perk upgrade stuff um, because if you get some of these like if we go and get some god damn it where are they if we get some diamonds some iron um, gold as well as you can see we get some things here it doesn't actually work yet it seems nothing nothing happens but it looks like you can get some um, a lot of potion effects but through this there's like there's haste there's speed resistance jump boost strength uh, regeneration so um, i'm not sure how that's going to work but i am looking forward to it it looks very very cool and then the last thing is the command block which can only be put into the game with a command which is slash give your name 137 and then one and then it'll pop out and it's a command block um, and you can give it console commands. I don't know any of the console commands. There is a few of them on Reddit that you can do. But this is intended for adventure maps. Um, so it won't be craftable in the single player game, I don't think. Um, but it's good to see that they're, they're doing a lot of work on single player. I mean, adventure maps and stuff. But for me, I think this is the most interesting thing along with villagers being infected by zombies. I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to evolve and what it's going to be able to do in the future so that's a new snapshot for 1.4 um, i'll leave the links in the description to download it make sure you back up your world before installing it just in case something goes wrong um, because it can happen and uh, if you find anything else make sure you let me know um, because i'm interested in seeing other things that might be in this snapshot um, also there'll be a link in the description to yesterday's video which was a mud spotlight type thing um, it's more of a joke video, but it's pretty funny. Um, involves a lot of swearing. <laughs> um, so I'll leave the link in the description for that if you want to go and check it out. But I'll leave it there for now. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.